everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today I have my sister here and I am very excited because we have a brand new box to the channel and it is the <laughs> cooking panda box for winter 2021, 22, not sure which year. <laughs> well, we just argued about which year we think it is. <laughs> this probably is the 2021 box because I think it came out in 2021, but we're filming this in 2022. In one of my recent videos, I talked about the subscription boxes that I missed and Degusta box was one of them. And I was like, does anybody have a replacement? And y'all were like, the cooking panda box, you have to check it out. And so I watched some people unbox it and I was like, yeah, I need that in my life. So the cooking panda box is $44.99 a quarter. It is a quarterly box, hence the winter uh, box. And it comes with free shipping. You get 15 plus pounds of premium food and beverages in each box, which is really, really awesome. If you sign up for an annual subscription, I think the price is like $40, which is what I did. I signed up for a full year because I'm genuinely so excited to unbox this. So I did pay for this box with my own money. This was not sent to me for your review. I'm genuinely so excited about this. So I don't have a coupon code or anything like that, but I will leave the link to the website down below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katrina. My sister's name is Rachel and we are Subbox lovers. We love to share subscription boxes with all of you Subbox lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, food videos, things like that, go ahead and subscribe and join the Subbox lover family. And without further ado, let's jump in the box. Now, before we jump into showing any of the products, there was a little bit of a mishap with my box, hence, if you looked at the box, there's like brown stuff on it. Um, that's because one of the products in the box was this here. This is the Rise Brewing Company Organic Oat Milk Chocolate. And when this was delivered, a heavier box was dumped on top of it and I think exploded the chocolate milk. So there's chocolate milk over everything. So I've wiped it all down. So I've kind of already seen some of the stuff inside. But anyway, this is one of the products that I won't be trying. I could probably reach out to customer service on this, but I don't know if I feel like doing that. But anyway, um, you did. This is one of the products in the box. That actually ruined my box, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, so now we'll go through the products that we can actually like go through that are real products that haven't been exploded. <laughs> um, we're not gonna try anything just because it's 15 pounds worth of food. So like that would be a lot for us to try. So we're just gonna kind of show everything inside the box. All right, so the first thing aside from the oat milk that we received are these K-Cups. They are by Don Francisco's Coffee um, and it is the vanilla nut flavor. I am a coffee fanatic. I love coffee and I love like different flavors of coffee like hazelnut, vanilla, just all the different kinds. So this is cool. I will say it would be kind of disappointing if you got this and you don't have a Keurig. It's very tailored towards a Keurig yeah. owner. Um, yeah, I do have a Keurig, but I don't drink coffee, so this will be donated to her. The box is obviously a little bit, if you're, if the box looks weird, if any other stuff looks weird, it's because of the milk mishap. <laughs> but, I mean, this sounds really, really good, and if I mm -hmm. still drank coffee, I'd be very, very excited to get this. But I'm happy that you can try these out. Yeah. The next thing that we received in the box is from Incredo Sugar, and this is their Dark Cocoa Salted Caramel Spread with Real Happy Sugar. I, this must be made with, like, fake sugar. Yeah, I don't know what real uh, happy sugar is. It has no made palm with, oil. Oh, made with real cane sugar. Oh, then that's good. Okay. Um, made with organic hazelnuts. You said no palm oil. I'm excited about this. I've been doing a lot of like, what are those English muffins with stuff on top? I feel like that would be good on this or on toast or anything mm -hmm. really. Um, it's a little bit of a treat. And I've never had like a cocoa caramel spread before. That yeah. sounds good. Normally it's just straight like hazelnut cocoa or they'll mix it with like a vanilla-y kind of thing. You know, you've seen the twirl ones before, but mm -hmm. I've never seen one with caramel. Yeah, that looks good. It does seem runny on the inside, which is fine. It just yeah. it does look a little bit runny. Probably just needs to be stirred up, mm -hmm. but okay. This is really fun so far. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, I like that it's, it's not stuff I would typically like get get at the grocery store this is more like um what am, what's the word i'm trying to look for not special stuff there's a better word but i forgot Unique. the word <laughs> i guess i don't know cool products cool cool items so the next snack actually came with two they're the exact same but it is by the brand real food from the ground up these are cauliflower tortilla chips and the flavor sea salt and they are grain free um, so they are plant-based for any of you um, vegans or vegetarians or anyone just plant-based. 
Yeah, one thing I noticed is these do expire February 10th. Oh, which is so kind of quick soon. Turnaround. I wonder if like all of this stuff like expires soon, like if that's why it's in here. This is um This is October. This is April. This is September. Okay, this stuff expires this year, but it's not like this is the one that's close to the due date. But I think everything else is probably fine. We'll definitely check as we go through because sometimes I wonder how they're able to get all this stuff in. But I got these and I will definitely eat them before February 10th because these look pretty good and they're kind of like healthy so you feel good about yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, the next thing out is a pack of rice, which I don't know why I'm so excited, <laughs> but it just seems so cool. This is from Royal and this is their Smoky Harissa Seasoned Basmati Rice with lentils Ooh. in it. Um, so that's what it looks like and you can kind of see it on the inside. It doesn't look that appetizing from no, that view. No, it doesn't. Um, now, harissa tends to be pretty spicy, so I'm curious about how spicy this is, but I love that this is like an easy, ready-made meal situation. I love that the lentils are in it, because I feel like you get mm -hmm. these rice packs a lot, but to have the lentils in it, like it probably has good protein, Yeah, right? 10 grams of protein for the whole pouch if you eat the whole thing. If you eat half, it's two, six. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good protein. Yeah, exactly. So I guess you just, you just literally open up the package and microwave it, which is so easy. Yeah, I feel like that's perfect for like a work lunch or something to just have at your desk for days you forget your lunch or you don't have time to pack. You can just microwave that. The yeah. only thing for me personally, I don't do spicy, but it's other than that, it sounds delicious. Yes. Up next, we have the Water Drop Micro Drink. Um, this is just a little packet and it has a couple cubes inside. It looks like three. They just go, oh, it opens up. <laughs> they just pop, you pop them in your water to give your flavor your <laughs> To give your Girl, water flavor. I can't get my life together. Um, it gives your water more flavor, so you end up drinking more water. I think that's cool. I love fruity flavored like drinks. Yeah, this is sugar free, low calorie. It has vitamin C, vitamin B six, and thiamine. Mm -hmm. And this is pam pomegranate. 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 <laughs> Pomegranate. <laughs> it's pomegranate, goji berry, and acerola, which I guess is cherry, which sounds pretty good. So, yeah. I mean, I don't normally like to put things in my drinks, but I will definitely still try these because they look really fun. Yeah. I thought it was gum at first. The next thing out of the box is this here. This is the Star... What does that say? A Agrima? 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 Shortening? It's 100% plant-based shortening. I've never used shortening in my life, so I don't really know. I guess you can bake with it. What, isn't it like canola oil or something whipped up? What is shortening made out of? Or is it normally butter? No, this is a replacement for butter or margarine. Where are the ingredients? Refined high oleic sunflower oil, mono and diglycerides, and vitamin E. So it's made with sunflower oil. I have, have been hearing a lot of really good things about sunflower oil because it has a high, um, it can be heated up high and it's still good. Did that make sense? I, I don't guess. know. I, yeah. I've seen a lot of sunflower oil and a lot of healthier products coming out, so. Yeah, it does have a save $1 coupon. I'm definitely curious. I know you can bake with it and do different things with it, so I'll have to figure out how to use it. Um, it's a very random thing, but I don't, yeah. I kind of like, like that. Like, it's fun because it's like, all right, well, now I'm going to have to figure out how to use this and like it. It makes it fun. I do believe that on their website, it, there's lots of different recipes and things that you can find with a lot of the things that you get. I did also forget to mention there were a bunch of cards and like paperwork and advertisements for some of the project products inside, but they were like drenched in the milk. So I just tossed them. I was like, this isn't even worth saving. So hopefully when we get the spring box, it'll be a little bit more in order and then we can show it to you a little bit better. Um, but yeah, there's, they do have recipes. So I definitely can check that out and see what they say for the shortening. Next up, we have these Papa's Pops. They're skinless popcorn, sweet and salty flavor. It's non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and I don't know what the U stands for. Un unrefined? Maybe. I have literally no idea. I'm just inventing things. <laughs> but they look like little corn puffs, basically. Which like, I'm a massive fan of. Yes, I love corn puffs. These are pretty low calorie, which is nice. And I feel like they're like one of those guiltless snacks. You yeah. know what I mean? That still tastes pretty good, in my opinion. I mean, from what I've tried before, I obviously have not tried these, but I'm not mad. Yeah, I would devour that whole thing in one sitting. And I think it'll, it's only 60 calories per whole bag, so. Yeah. All right, the next product out of the box is this here. This is from High Key, and these are mini cookies. These are snickerdoodles, and it's one gram net carbs per serving. So these are keto-friendly, grain-free, and gluten-free. Um, no sugar added. 320 calories for the whole bag. For the whole bag. A serving is seven pieces and 140 calories. So I guess these are just like a healthy snickerdoodle cookie. 
What they are they feel made kind of out of? Soft. Ooh, I love. So I'm a soft cookie girl. Versus um, almond flour, stevia, monk fruit, dried whole eggs, vanilla, baking powder, like basically uh -huh. stuff. Collagen. Yeah. So these look pretty good. I mean, yeah. I I don't love Snickerdoodle. Neither do I. I'm not a huge cinnamon girl. But I'm still gonna eat. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. Because they look really good. The next thing we have are these high chew little gummy things. It's in green apple flavor. I've had high chew before. I don't think I've ever had this flavor and it looks like it's white and has like the green um, apple in the middle. These are really good. They're so good. Yeah, they're addicting. You just like eat one and then you eat another and then you eat another. Yeah, I don't think I've had the green apple before either, but I have had these. I think I've had like the grape and I really, I love chewy fruity candies. So like mm -hmm. this is like, up my alley and I feel like the green apple might be like a little bit like sour like it's probably sweet but it might have a little bit yeah. of like that natural sour because green apples do which I'm a big fan of so if you've ever had um I think it's mamba the kind they sell here mambas are similar to this they're yeah just like these little, are a little like, different they're but hard they're not soft but they're chewy if yes. that makes sense the next thing out is from kind and this is their oats and honey bar this feels like those like oh, Nature Valley. Nature Valley bars, because it feels like there's two in there, so it just feels like Kind's version of that. Um, and I, Kind is fairly expensive from what I remember, so this is nice to get in this box, not because it's like crazy expensive. And this is just 180 calories for both of the two bars that are inside of here. It does say that there's only seven ingredients in it, so that's really nice if you don't want to have a bunch of different chemicals that you don't know what they even are. So it seems pretty healthy. Yeah, everything on here is like something you know. Oats, cane sugar, canola oil, honey, tapioca syrup, sea salt, and cinnamon. So really straightforward. Um, uh, looks pretty good. The next thing we have are three little chocolates from Tony's. These are just the regular schmegular milk chocolate flavor. We actually got these from Santa in our stocking on Christmas. We didn't get this flavor that we got. We got the caramel, caramel one. And it was really, really, really good. I wish they gave us three different flavors in here to try, but I'm not complaining at all. I would devour all three of these. I just, I like Tony's milk chocolates. They're good quality. Yeah. Then we have another set of three chocolate and I think these are wafers so these are from little secrets these are their mini crispy wafers these are peanut butter and dark chocolate now I'll be honest normally I'm not a wafer person but this actually sounds pretty good with the dark chocolate and the peanut butter so <laughs> I'll be trying these um now these do expire on January 22nd which is like a few days from now yeah when are, it's good. the 17th today yeah it's the 17th today now we obviously ordered this into the season or whatever but yeah these do expire soon-ish so this will have to be on the front of the list of things to eat <laughs> i don't think you'll have a problem with that no the next thing that we have is a really cool product it's by lee kumki hong kong it's panda brand chicken flavored brown rice artificial chicken flavor with carrot and spring onion no high fructose corn syrup added um and it's ready in three minutes this looks absolutely delicious. I'm jealous Katrina gets this, but you know, it's her box. <laughs> yeah, sorry, not sharing. <laughs> this looks very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, great to make on the go. This actually, we had like a PF Chang's ready meal tonight. This probably would have been good to have to the side of it or whatever. So it's a nice kind of adder for dinner, or you can obviously just have it as it is. Um, but pretty excited. This expires at the end of February, so we still have time. I feel like a lot of the, some of the dates are like late 2022 and some of them are sooner. So just if you get the box, definitely pay attention to the expiration dates to make sure you use them in time. But very excited. The next thing out is this here. This is from Green Ridge Farm and this is their sweet and hot stone ground mustard. You can like see the little mustard seeds in the mustard we are big mustard fans because we're german and mustard's very important accoutrement to food <laughs> and meats and things like that so i'm excited to see how this one is she asked me if i'm gonna share this with my dad and i don't think i'm going to because he's a big <laughs> mustard fan but yeah yeah i i wonder i'm curious to see how spicy it is because it says sweet and hot so i don't know yeah i'll definitely have to try it but like i love this is what I've been missing in my life because the Degusta box it does not exist in the U.S. anymore. It does exist other places. It had stuff like this, but it's mm -hmm. so fun to try new kinds of things like this. And I will use mustard, so it's like it's really nice to get it. I like that this is quarterly too because it's like then you don't get overwhelmed like every month by some of this stuff, but you can definitely like try it out throughout the quarter and stuff like that. So got some mustard. For you. Mustard did it in the ballroom with a rope. Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Next up, we have a brain pack. This is, oh no, it says Brainiac. 
<laughs> I was wondering Weird. why you said Oh that. no, it does say, okay, Brain Pack. Okay, I'm not crazy. <laughs> it's Brainiac Kids Applesauce with Brainiac, which is, Brainiac is Omega 3s, 160 milligrams of DHA and EPA and choline. At which least, means nothing does. Yeah, I don't know what that, uh, to me this is applesauce. <laughs> but it's, I mean, that's, I don't know, it's applesauce. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to slurp this up in two seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's freezing. The little bottle is, like, freezing. Well, it is, like, in a metal, and it is, like, kind of snowy here today, so. Yeah. Yum. All right, the next thing out is this here. This is from Tarani, and this is their Pure Made Syrup in Caramel. Now, I'm very excited about this because I'm going to give it to her, but they've had, like, these different ones in some of the boxes. Like, I think there was a shortbread one in one of them or, like, a raspberry. Like, they've had these in the box before. This one is the caramel one. So, obviously, this could be put in coffee, but I know that they posted recipes to use this in hot chocolate to make it, like, a caramel hot chocolate. So, you can, like, put some of this in your hot chocolate, and I love that idea but I am gonna give it to her because she will use it with her coffee and I know she's excited about it but yeah well, now I feel bad because no. you have your new um hot chocolate but maker. I have caramel hot chocolate specific okay. pouches so I don't need the added caramel <laughs> so Katrina was the best sister ever and gave me an espresso machine for Christmas and I've just been playing with all the different flavor pods and the one drink that like I just like am craving like no other is like making my own iced caramel like coffee and so I just told Katrina yesterday I was researching caramel syrups trying to find myself one so I'm like over the moon about this but it is a lot of sugar so it's not the healthiest thing in the world but moderation treat yourself yeah I mean you don't need to put a ton in a drink so that's yeah. the good news yeah exactly so I'm, I'm really excited to try that all right the next thing out is from nut pods and this is their almond and coconut creamer and this is in the cookie butter flavor I love this I've like nostalgically not it's not nostalgically but I know that like I've seen like Emma Chamberlain use this in some of her coffees or whatever and I know people use it in their coffees I'm gonna give this to her obviously since I don't drink coffee but like I'm like the fact that nut pods is in this box is like very <laughs> exciting for some reason and cookie butter oh my gosh that sounds incredible but like you're gonna have the best coffee <laughs> ever <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, I, like Katrina said, I've seen so many YouTubers using nut pods and they're all raving about it. I've always wanted to try it, but it is on the pricier end. And cookie butter just sounds like, I feel like this would go well together in a coffee. Yeah, exactly. And technically the pods are vanilla nut, so maybe it could go oh, with them. Yeah. I don't really know, but it's, there's like a little bit of coffee, a little bit of hot chocolate. You could probably put this in hot chocolate. Know, to flavor it Probably. I don't know I don't know uh, who knows but anyway I think it's still really awesome that we got it in the box up next we have some jerky by country archers provisions country archer provisions it's the death reaper beef jerky made with 100% grass grass-fed beef and it's deadly hot um this just looks scary yeah I watched Arkansas gal or girl I can't remember what her channel name is unboxes um, and she like struggled with this and I'm like, you know what? I normally make us try the spicy stuff, but I think this might be not great and I don't have milk <laughs> if this goes bad. So this will be going to our dad. Yeah. He will probably like it. It might be too spicy for him, but this will go to him, but it's still fun. Like it's still a cool thing to get. Um, I feel like this is a more manly product. Yeah. Or I mean, not like that I can handle some spice, but I just don't. I don't know about Death Reaper. That's like yeah. another level, so. The packaging just scares me. But yeah. I also hate spicy food, so. Yeah, I mean, the packaging I think is cool, but it is, yeah. Oh yeah, it's not, a really cool packaging. I'll say that for my dad. <laughs> the next thing out is so cute. These are the mini Stay Puffed Marshmallows. So, so cute, so just a bag of marshmallows, which I think goes really well, because the caramel is supposed to be hot chocolate, and you're getting these. I've been making lots of hot chocolate because I got the Hotel Chocolat hot chocolate maker, and I keep putting, these on top it's a very expensive hot chocolate thing i don't know would you guys want to see a separate video on the uh on that let me know um but you can never go wrong with marshmallows this is so exciting and the cutest thing i don't know how they did this but they somehow got pictures of katrina on this <laughs> stuff <laughs> okay <laughs> it's just so cool <laughs> i'm gonna be nice and not say what's in my head
The next thing is a vegetable umami by the brand Yondu. It says that it is organic, vegan, gluten-free, and non-GMO, perfect for plant-rich cooking. It's all-purpose savory seasoning. It's more like, it looks like a soy sauce, like a liquid, um, it's a glass bottle, so it's good quality. Yeah, it feels nice. Yeah, that's just, that's really cool. I feel like these products I would never search for in a store, but to own them, I would definitely try them and use them. I guess you probably use like a soy sauce. It's not as dark as a soy sauce, but I like the use of umami in especially Asian cooking, but in, in just as a flavor at, as is. So I'm actually excited to kind of use this and try this in different ways. I like that it's a vegetable one so that it's approachable for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Whether you're vegan or not, or I don't know, I'm assuming this is vegan since it's vegetable. Um, but, yeah, it's vegan. Um, yeah, really excited to try this. It's such a cool, different kind of product. Yeah. The next thing out is the cutest thing in the world. This is from J'adore Le Pancake Mix, or that's the pancake mix. I don't know, maybe from Fair and Up. But it's just a cute little pancake mix. You just add milk. So it's like two thirds of cups of milk, three fourths of a cup of mix. Then you can grease the pan with butter or cooking spray, or I guess you could do it with shortening. And then you, you bake your little things. <laughs> it's a little gross from the, I wiped everything down, but I think I need to wipe this one down better because it still has chocolate milk. But like the packaging is so cute. Mm -hmm. I know in one of the previous boxes, cause I've been watching unboxing videos um, of this, they had like a different, like a, I think they had like a cake mix version or like something mm -hmm. like that. But like, this is the cutest thing ever. And we're going to have to do pancakes. Yes. Like, I love how you can just add the milk, I guess, through you, the nozzle. No, then... no, you pour it out. Oh. Okay. I think this is powder. Yeah, I thought you, you could like shake it in the bag. I mean, you probably could, but that'd be a lot of pancakes because you only need three fourths a cup. I don't think you could mix all that milk with all this. Cause... Yeah, that would be. Anyway, this is a product of, of Luxembourg, which is cool. I think they kind of have some internationally kind of mm -hmm. things in here, but like this is. I'm so excited. Like it's yeah. so cute. Well, I like this because like we do universal yums where we get snacks and everything, but to get actual cooking items. It's just fun. Yeah, love it. Next up, we have some salmon. This is by the brand Safe Catch. It's wild Pacific pink salmon in the flavor citrus dill. It is skinless and boneless, seasoned with lemon, dill, garlic, black pepper, celery seed, and parsley. Um, it's mercury tested, Whole30, paleo certified, non-GMO, American Pregnancy Association, and paleo certified. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> just thought I'd read off every single detail on the package. Yeah. Um, but this whole thing has 18 grams of protein in it, which is really, really good. Perfect for a lunch. Spread it on some toast. Put it on a salad. Yeah, I'm actually not mad about this. I do tend to buy some of these, like, the tuna packets. So to get it with salmon, and, like, the citrus dill just sounds really, really good, honestly. So a nice little meal to go, basically. Yum. All right. Last but not least, we have something very exciting from Utz, and this is their Twisters Seasoned Mini Pretzels in Tangy Mustard. This sounds so good. This is mm -hmm. huge. Yeah, it is. Like, it's huge. You'll um, still finish the whole thing in one <laughs> No, I won't finish I'm it. Just I'm just kidding. But, like, I'm, I'm definitely going to curl up and watch TV and eat these later today. Because these do expire on February 7th. And so I do have to eat these pretty fast. That's disappointing. But yeah, they look delicious. The lid's a little bit cracked, but I mean, the, yeah, there's no damage done. I would yeah, it's the still fine on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the only thing is like some of these, but I, I did order it mid-season, so that's probably why. But some of these do have quicker expiration dates, which is probably why they're able to like get all this in the box, you know what I mean, for the price that it is, which mm -hmm. I think is fine because... Most of the time, you'll have plenty of time, like if you're ordering at the beginning of the season. But if you are ordering mid-season, I would just keep that in mind that some of the expirations may be sooner. Um, but honestly, I love this box. Yeah. Like, it is so fun. I like this box, too, because I can share stuff with you. You know what I mean? Like, there's stuff in here that maybe if this was just for me, I wouldn't be able to use. But we like different things, and so I can give you some stuff. This is fun for us to unbox. It's like, I don't know. What do you think? I really like the box. It's a mix of healthy, I mean, it's pretty much all semi-healthy, but then you have the marshmallows, the pretzels, you have cooking ingredients, and you have snacks, and you have meal stuff, so you just get such a wide variety, and like I said, it's not stuff you would, some of the stuff I wouldn't, you know, find in my grocery store, so you get stuff that you would never get on your own, which is really cool. Yeah, so definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of the Winter Cooking Panda box? We would love to hear your thoughts. Super excited for the spring box to come out so we can oh, unbox that and share it with you and hopefully it won't have milk all over it, but that's <laughs> fine. Um, but we would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below and we'll see you in our next video.